Hey guys, today I'm going to be breaking down Night and Day's Murphy Cube Cabinet Bed. I'll be giving you both the pros and the cons and everything you need to know before purchasing this bed. Uh, I even have some footage of myself opening and closing so you guys can see exactly how this bed works. The model that I am using today, I have the white finish. It is also available in a cherry, dark, dark chocolate, as well as a stone wash. So hopefully one of those is what you guys are looking for and uh, let's hop right into it and start breaking this bed down. All right guys, before I get into how this bed actually works, I want to go over the assembly of this bed. I personally have put together uh, at least 10 of these myself, and I can honestly say that this is one of the only pieces of furniture that I've ever put together where everything did actually fit together and I was not missing any screws. So kudos night and day, they did a great job on controlling their manufacturing process. The bed does come in a flat box, but the assembly only takes roughly about 30 to 40 minutes, so it is quite simple. Directions are straightforward. You have to be a handyman. It doesn't require any special tools. All you have to have is the Allen key that comes with it and a Phillips head screwdriver. So with that being said, let's get right into the video of me opening and closing the bed so you can see how easy it is to maneuver this bed, set it up, take it apart, and I will give you some of the things that I do not like about this bed here next. Okay guys, so taking a look at the bed here, uh, as you can see the bed does look great when fully set up, so that's, that's nothing to worry about, but the one major drawback that I find with this bed is that you do have to take everything off of the top when opening and closing the bed. Uh, it's not a huge deal if you're only having company over maybe, I don't know, a couple times a year, but if you are going to be using this weekly, daily, studio apartment, something like that, this is probably not the model for you. You probably want to go up and get one of the higher end models that does have the back section where you can leave stuff on the back. Also, you probably wouldn't want to use this bed for a TV stand because you would have to take it on and off every time that you want to have company sleep on this bed. So. Not a huge deal if you're only using it a couple times a year, but uh, that is definitely something to think about if this is the model that you're currently looking to purchase. All right, now let's take a look at how easy this bed is to set up. If you see here, all you have to do is flip up the top, do the one latch, undo the two side latches, flip it down, and you are pretty much ready to go. You line up that top piece with the bed there. The one thing I do get asked often is, do they latch together? The answer is no. Um, if you're using it for just sleeping and not extracurricular activity, then uh, it will not come apart on you. Um, the weight of yourself and whoever is sleeping on the bed will hold those pieces in place. You don't have to worry about them slipping out from each other and falling into the cracks. Uh, I've never gotten that complaint. I've never seen someone do that, so you'll be just fine as well. Now, as you can see, I am putting the bed back together here. Uh, same process as taking it out, just in reverse. Super simple, super easy. Latch it back up, throw the top on, and you are good to go. Um, then, like I said, you do have to put all your decorations back on there, but uh, you have a bed that no one will know already until next time you need to use it. One last thing that I wanted to mention that I skipped over here before, uh, this is another question I get get asked all the time, is can you put pillows and sheets inside of the bed? The answer is yes. Uh, when the mattress is inside, you will see that it sits down about six to 12 inches. That's just enough room to throw two pillows, your sheets, and you are good to go. This is a fully self-contained unit, so you do not have to worry about pulling stuff out of the closet or anything like that. Hey guys, so hopefully you found this uh, review here helpful and I shed some light on the Murphy Cube cabinet bed. Uh, if you would like some more information or a more in-depth review, you can head over to our website. It's cabinetmurphybed.com, where I do full in-depth reviews of every cabinet bed out there. So go ahead and check that out. That is in the description below. 
If you think you're ready to make this purchase, I'll also link uh, put some links to Amazon so you can check it out right there. And if you have any other questions, you can leave a comment. Um, please hit that subscribe button because I will be coming out with more reviews here. And also throw me a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you.